Hi, I'm Joan Newcomb, and today's Morning Musings is, Is Your Ego Dying? I'm doing a series of daily morning musings, and I'm using posts from my blog, Adventures in Density and Effort, as inspiration. Now, I wrote these a while ago, and the world has completely changed since then. Though most of this information is evergreen, if I encounter anything that is completely out of date, I will give you the most recent information, and at the end, I will summarize the topic based on what's going on in the world today. Also, I have some special offers, so stay tuned to the very end to see what they are. Is your ego dying? A long time ago, I was with a man who was trying to give up cocaine addiction. I'd lived with him for almost 10 years and had no clue that he'd been addicted. Just call me Cleo, queen of denial. However, it wasn't until he hit bottom and actually got clean and sober that his addict personality emerged. It came out so strong at that time because it was dying. One of my regular clients struggles with her weight. When she tries to change her eating habits, a part of her resists. It feels deprived. It rebels against restriction. It pouts. It does pretty much anything to keep the status quo. What yells the loudest is what is losing power. This is happening in different ways to everyone. It may not be an addiction. It may be a way of life, an aspect of your personality that you might have strongly identified with. Our identities are disintegrating as our true self emerges. As we collectively evolve to a new way of consciousness, the part of ourselves that are the old vibration falls away. It's like an old skin that doesn't fit. We're squeezing out of it like a butterfly from a chrysalis. I'm not listening to old voices. Different thoughts arise, offering themselves, and I ignore them. I don't feel like being angry. I don't feel like fighting. I'm not engaging in their drama. What's going on inside is being reflected in the outside world. I wrote this in 2012. It seems the U.S. government is more polarized than it ever has been. People are being very loud, claiming they're opposed Opposing policies will bring identical results. To me, it's the old, restrictive, and the limited that is dying. It's trying to exert the most control in order to survive. It's ultimately not going to work. The truth will come to the surface. Light will emerge. Evolution will happen. Egos are very unhappy with what's happening. If you cling to them, you'll be very uncomfortable. If you let them go, their voices will get loud for a while, then softer and softer until you forget you were ever influenced by them. Is your ego dying? How can you tell? Strong emotions are a clue. Rage, depression, grief are all very useful indicators that you are letting go of an old way of being. You may have loved that personality and its lifestyle, but you are being called to something that fits better. You are being called to be the essence of who you are. You are being called to be consciousness in form. You are asked to be authentic. You get to do work that you love. You get to fulfill your your life's purpose, and your true self won't accept anything less. So if you've had an experience like this, please leave me a comment below. I love to read your comments. I'm laughing because, you know, I wrote this in 2012, and yet we're at a new dimension, <laughs> a new level, this very same thing, because evolution is constantly happening. And I have to say, if you take yourself less seriously, it then becomes a lot easier to let go of those aspects of ego personality and expand to being your new and greater self. So if if you like these videos, please share them with your family and friends and on your social media. You can click the like button and subscribe or follow, and that way you're telling the algorithm to share this far and wide and get this out to someone who really needs to see this. And if you want a free sample of one of my consciousness techniques, click on the link below to the Skybox technique. It'll give you a drone's eye perspective on everything going on in your life. And if you want some manifestation techniques, Manifesting Money and Miracles is my self-study course where you can learn techniques to bring more miracles and manifestations of abundance into your life. And if you want to know more, my website is joan-nukem.com. There you can sign up for my individual sessions where I take a look at you as consciousness and what's going on in your life today. And I can answer any questions that you might have, whether it's about relationships, about money, what's coming up in the future. And I can also talk to your deceased loved ones. And it's all recorded just for you. And if you want to learn how to do this for yourself, that is navigate your life as consciousness with the help of some of my consciousness techniques, manifesting money and Miracles is a great preparation for my coaching special where I work with you one-on-one -on -one and give you specifically chosen consciousness techniques so that you can transform your life. So go to my website, joan-nukum.com, and I'll see you tomorrow in another Morning Musings.